All right, welcome back to another episode of our Prison Architect series. Let me pause it there. Last episode, we went through and added all of the power. So all these utilities should hopefully be being added as we speak. Yeah, we can see them going through all that. That's good. I'm uh, not sure if I added any of the water, but I might have to add that now. We'll add the water. And we're also going to copy exactly what we did down here, up the top here for this, this cell when these are done. So, let me just add an entrance here, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what doors these need just yet, so I'm just gonna add, like, single door. Just so they can, like, be done. And the foundations can, like, finish. I'm not sure if these are gonna need to be, like, staff doors or, like, jail doors, but we'll, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, down here, in the kitchen, I'm not sure if we need all this extra space all the way down here, so this could end up being something else. But, again, if we need it, we'll cross that bridge. And I might actually get these pipes started as well. Whoa. <laughs> Holy cow, what is going on? Okay, so for large pipes, I'm thinking we just have like... We just have the large pipe just running all the way down the middle. Just like this. Yep. And then we could just have the small pipes that go off of that into the, the toilets. I think that's probably the best play. I'll just have this running right through the middle. Alright, let me just get all these small pipes going. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Don't you think it's weird that like... I, I tell them to like make all these large pipes and they start with like the middle. They don't start with like where the pipe is gonna connect to. Like they just start at the very end of the process or in the middle. Isn't that weird? Okay, that's done. So we'll go large pipe connects all the way down here and then large pipe connects to there. Right, that should be good. And then this will just do the water up here maybe. Uh, we'll just have it go this way, I guess. Yeah, like this. There we go. Actually, let's let's make it symmetrical, just so it looks good. There we go. Just like that. Cool. Okay, they will get that done. <laughs> Are they still doing these walls? Ooh, okay. I knew it. I knew it when I, like, exited out of the last video that I knew it was going to be saved. So let me just fix this up. Alright. Done. Now that that's done... God, this whole place is just telling me to do something about it. Okay, is this not done yet? What's going on? What are we... What are we waiting on? Probably more people, right? Okay, fine. We'll get uh, we'll get a few more workers, shall we? Imagine you're just like on the job site, right? You're on this job trying to like make this prison that this random guy wants, and then all of a sudden they just hire 120 more stuff. Oh, I paused it right in time. There we go. It's starting to connect. Look at that. The rooms are finally coming together. Finally. Oh, never mind. They're gone. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Overloaded. That doesn't make any... Okay, no, it does make sense. Uh, can I dismantle? Okay. That should work. That should have fixed it. So hopefully these should start getting power again. Oh, you guys are freaking out. Can you do this up here then? Now, we need to redo all the utilities for up here and all of the things up here. Also, I noticed that these weren't put in properly. So we'll go walls and doors and we'll start adding in what I wanted to add in. And then I think I was thinking something like this, right? Right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Glad it looks good. Okay, they're starting to fill out all of these cells up here. 
what we can do is I might copy this common room in this gymnasium and I might just like put it up here as well. So to start, what I need to do is fill out this common room. So let's start chucking some stuff in, shall we? So in a common room, what do you want to see? You probably want to see some sofas, some TVs. Okay, we can make a couple of foosball tables here. A couple of phone booths, booths as well. We can chuck those in the middle. That way they can call whoever they like. And what we'll do is we'll add a brick wall in the middle here. There we go. Make that look good. And I want to say that that's a pretty decent common room. Maybe we'll add a couple of snack machines, why not? So next up, we're going to go planning. Where is it? Quick build. So we're going to clone all of this. And then we'll just go boom. I'm just going to put it right here. Why is this one bigger? Oh no, what's going on? Why, <laughs> why is it one bigger? How did I screw that up? What do you mean? What do you mean it's one bigger? Oh, that's... That's annoying. Alright. Well... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, that is... Ooh, look at this. Okay, good. That's good. We just need to install a couple of water pumps. Uh, water. Yep, I need to... Sorry. <laughs> connect the water pumps. Once that connects, that'll be all good. Okay, utilities. Let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, we'll go dismantle it. We'll start cleaning all of this up so they connect correctly. We'll add the capacitors where they need to be. And then we can start wiring stuff up, shall we? Alright. That looks good. We just gotta wait for them to, uh, to make it. Which might take a while. Okay, I'd say we're pretty close to, uh, to, to opening, really. What else do we need? Maybe like the security stuff, the staff room stuff. I need to actually put stuff in here. That'd probably be a good idea. There's so many workmen running past. Alright, let's make these rooms, shall we? So, we can go rooms. I want security here. Actually, cancel that. I want security on the right. And then I want the kennels on the left. There we go. Okay, staff room's gonna look good. What do we need? I need a wide sofa and a drink machine. That's fine, we can do that. We should probably give them like a, yeah, a pool table or something. We'll give them a foosball table as well. It makes it, doesn't really make sense that the, uh, the convicts, the prisoners get access to pool tables and the staff don't. Okay, security is a little bit different. The security, security needs the chair, filing cabinet, and an office desk. And I believe they might need TVs to connect to security system. CCTV monitor. There we go. Just going to add a couple of these and we can put stuff in later. I am going to hook up the security system or the CCTV later on. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, we need lights out here as well. Yeah, let's make some lights. That's a good idea. Uh, light, light. Here we go. I don't know if it's going to be enough lights, but we'll, we'll see. We can hold 492 prisoners. That's actually pretty good. And that's just because all of these cells here. I think we can actually hold more. Like, because eventually I think if all of these start working, we can hold a little bit more. We do also need solitary as well. Forgot about solitary. Okay, logistics looks good. What we're going to do is just have all of the cells up here, funnel into here. The same with this holding cell is going to funnel into the canteen up top. And same with the bottom. So the bottom is going to funnel up to this one here. Food distribution, laundry distribution. We need a laundry. Oh, jeez. Oh, I still got to do the utilities, the water. Oh, man. Okay, these are both being powered. That's good. So this water pump station is going to handle all of this, right? And then the one up top will handle just the kitchen. So, let's do that now. Oh, wait, what the heck just happened? Did it just become real? Alright, I gotta, I gotta see this, hold on. Okay, I think that's all done. And it looks like it just became real. Holy cow. Alright, let me just add this brick wall in here. Cool. Alright, now we're just waiting for the other half of the prison to be lit up. 
Holy cow, this looks good. This looks real good. Okay. Now, I think what we're waiting for is just the workmen to do their jobs. That's it. Let's get a few more, shall we? <laughs> Again, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, you're working on a work site and then you just wake up one morning and you have a hundred new staff? Like, you just have a hundred new colleagues? <laughs> oh, why are you off? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Looking good. Oh, you're off as well. There we go. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking real good. I think we just need to add like a few more things and this prison is probably done. Like done and ready to go. It does kind of bug me that it's one higher on this side. Like you have one like little extra space there. Okay, now we've got all this done. All the cells are done, finally. We've loaded them all up with power and electricity, so we have 510 capacity, which is crazy. Now what we need to do is look at all of the extra rooms like that can go with the rooms that we currently have. So right now we have a staff room, a kennel, and security. I believe we need one more, yet yeah, armory. So what we might do is we might like split this into multiple rooms. But what I was thinking is we could use this room and like we could split it up into maybe two rooms so we could have like uh, the cleaning cupboard and the armory and maybe we could have up here we could do the laundry. That could probably be a good idea. Oh, parole. We need to do parole as well. Okay, how do we want to do this? Let's have a staff door here. We'll have a staff door at the very end here and then we'll have a staff door that leads into here. Because I want the parole room to be, like, on the corner here. And I don't particularly want the warden just walking through with, like, where the prisoners are. So what we might do is they can walk into here. And then there'll be a room that separates off. So, like, this. Yeah, like this. And we'll corner that up. And we'll go door. Jail door. Parole. There we go. Just like that. That is... Yeah, that's crazy. Um, we'll do a metal detector on this side. Just so we can, like, power it. And if anyone comes in with anything that could hurt the warden or anything in there, then we we have it unlock. Okay. So that was one of the rooms. We want parole in one room. We want armory on another. So we're just going to go walls and doors. We will just fill this in. And we'll go door, staff door via the security. So all of this is going to be the armory. And all of this needs to be walls. Yeah. Okay. Now the next room is going to be an armory. Where we're going to keep all of the weapons. Now we need a weapon rack, a guard locker, and a table. Let's make this look good. And then for flooring, what should we do? Just metal floors. This needs to be a very serious room. Okay. You guys enjoy building that. Then next, we're going to do another small room off of here for the cleaning cupboard. Let's go walls and doors. And the cleaning cupboard doesn't need to be that big. But I suppose it will be. <laughs> uh, we'll do metal floor. Should we do metal floor for a cleaning cupboard? We'll just, yeah, we'll do metal floor. We'll start with that and we'll see how it looks. And room, cleaning cupboard. So this just needs to be... Okay, it just needs to be a room. I don't think it needs anything, does it? Well, they have already dumped bleach in there, so maybe we should have, like, a security guard set up there. And then this, I'm not sure what room this is going to be yet, but this is probably just going to be, like, a room that is filled with guards. Like, for the parole room, I mean. And we'll have this filled with guards, guards at the doors, so anyone that comes in or out, we have... We, we can stop them if they have anything. And we'll just go like that to connect that up. Now here... This is probably going to be, maybe Solitary can be up here, or maybe Solitary can be at the end here. I don't know. Or maybe Solitary can be here, like on the corners here. What do I need? It just needs to be enclosed. Wow, okay. I don't anticipate many of my prisoners will be in Solitary, but I want to make it look cool regardless. Uh, I need a Solitary door.
Okay. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And then once that's built, I'll copy whatever that is on the other side. That way we have a few solitary places. A few places the people in solitary can go? I don't know how to word that. Okay, what else have we got? A workshop, execution, laundry. Okay, we'll do the laundry now, and I think we might call it there. I don't think this needs to be this big for this laundry. So we might cut this in half. Maybe we can go, like, mail room in the laundry. So the laundry will be, laundry will be up here. And the mail room can be down here. That's the gym. No, it needs to be the mail room. That looks a little bit crazy, but okay. I'll take it. So I just wanted something different, you know? Something that looks a little bit different. Now we can just go uh, doors. I think these are, should be both open to... Open to prisoners. Uh, but I think the mail room... Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll just go... Metal detector. We'll add a metal detector on both sides here. I think that's probably the best idea. Lord, yeah, okay, cool. You're all good. But then you need power and water. Okay, that should solve both of those issues. And then I think we just need flooring. And this should look pretty dang good. And we'll do this sort of flooring for down there as well. Dark wood floor for the center. Okay, metal room. Needs a sorting desk, a table, and an enclosed. Which it already is. That's totally fine. Sorting desk. I don't know how, like, the mail room works, so I'm just gonna play it like that, and we'll just, <laughs> we'll see, you know? But the laundry in the mail room, they look pretty good so far. I might need to even add more laundry machines. Just in case, we got 500 uh, prisoners here. There's no reason to be uh, skimping out on utilities, especially since we have, like, unlimited money. No reason to be, no reason to be like that. Okay, this prison is coming together. We just need to do a few more things. Oh, look at this. Uh, we'll just go rooms, solitary. What do you mean it's not enclosed? There you go. Stop yapping at me like that. We'll just go cancel that. We will clone everything here. And we'll just scooch on down to the bottom here. And we'll just paste it like that. Cool. We'll get rid of this staff door when we get the chance. Okay. This is... It's coming together. It really is. It's all bright now. We can actually see what the heck is going on. Next episode, we're going to figure out what we're going to do with these four rooms. Most likely, we're going to add some items here from the, from the library, the shop, the workshop. Maybe not the execution. Um, but we also need the infirmary and the morgue. We can't forget that. That's what those four rooms are going to do. It looks like we've broken it down pretty dang well. So I'm pretty impressed with how this prison is going so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to bring out one of these episodes every so often. <laughs> but until then, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Blues. What do we lose? Spider-Man. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll go Mobius here. Mobius will stop death. Which will be very good. So we'll drop you there because the big house... It might be relevant. <laughs> Deadpool and Deathlock. We're going to save Killmonger till the very end as well. Normally, if we don't have...